Hello and welcome back to the Beer Dog Reviews. As always, I'm Chris. Today I've got a beer from Magic Rock for you. And it's a can of their Dark Arts Surreal Stout. Coming in at a 330ml can, it is, if I can find it, 6%. So, not too heavy for a stout and not too light. There's the can wrap there. See with Magic Rock you do get that nice abstract art design, which I do like. <clears throat> so, this one was, I think it was 180, about the four for six pound at Tesco's. So, let's get it out, have a look, see what we've got. No smoke to speak of on the opening. Try and give it a bit of a vigorous pour. Try and get some head developing. And there it is. A nice dark beer. Let's have a look. Only the tiniest amount of light bleed fruit at the base. So pretty much a jet black beer in the glass. Just half a finger of quite tan head. Quite quickly dissipating tan head that is. Looks nice. Coffee. Rich chocolate and a bit of tobacco smoke. Mm. Smells good. I have been looking forward to trying this one for a little while. I know it has recently become available on the Perfect Draft. Let's see what the can is like. Quite astringent on the first taste there. Not in a bad way. You can feel the carbonation on your tongue. Coffee. Nice rich coffee in there. It's a slight Almost a toffee malt in there. Not quite, but almost. Good bitter dark chocolate. It is a little thin for me, as far as stouts go. It's not quite as thin as a porter, but definitely on the lower edge for me. Perfectly drinkable, very enjoyable. There is a sharpness in there. I think it is um, pushing the boundaries of what a stout should be. Let's see if there's anything on the can. So, it's got the ingredients. See, don't get pregnant. Well, that's pretty much it. Okay. Literally nothing else on the can. Hmm. So we don't know what hops have gone into it. We don't know what malts have gone to, into it. There's almost a, a burnt brown sugar in there. I do enjoy that. I 
I am actually enjoying that bitterness on the back end. It's very different for a stout, of course. But that's very enjoyable. And that head, that is gone now, hasn't it? Look at that. Can we bring any of that back? Only just. And of course it is completely tan once again. But even that doesn't bring out too much more aroma. It is. It's an interesting stout. It's got more of the essence of the black lager of a black IPA than it has of a traditional stout, but with a bit more body. It's very nice. Very drinkable. Would I buy it again? I think I would. It's not bad at all. I can enjoy that. Tasty. Quite rich. Hasn't got the velvety smoothness of a more traditional style of stout, but yeah. I can enjoy that one. Cheers to you all. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. As always, I'll pop the links for my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram right down there in the description. And of course, I'll see you all again next time. Happy drinking.